Hey guys, it's Sunday, May 24th, and I just did some filming. So I thought that I would update a little bit right now while I'm actually looking human. Because, you know, I should maybe not look like shit in every single vlog that I do, so I actually have makeup on today. It's also raining really hard outside. It was, it was thundering earlier. So if you can hear that in the background, sorry. <laughs> but I just picked up The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. This is one of the books that I have on my list for the series that I'm doing where I read all the books that you guys all know and love but I have not read because I suck. I'll link that video down below where I go more into that series and like you can see the list and everything. But I'm I'm in kind of a slump still so I just kind of picked something at random. But so far it's good. I'm on page 44 so I'm not, I'm not really that far in yet. But I like the characters so far. The writing is pretty good but mainly like the world is beautiful so far. If you don't know, I am obsessed with fairies and fairy lore. So I don't know why I haven't read this yet. I just didn't get around to it. But so far I like it a lot and I'm really hoping that the writing style stays very descriptive. I really hope that Holly Black will keep like really vividly describing all these beautiful fairy creatures and all this fun stuff. Cause that's what I love about fairy books is just the world. So. Yeah, I hope I love this. I don't actually know like what this book is about in terms of the plot. I just know that it's fairies and all that fun stuff. And that it's apparently very dark as well. So excited for that. And I will update you guys some more when I read some more. So bye. It's Wednesday, my dudes. <laughs> oh God, I need to be stopped. So last night I finished reading The Cruel Prince by Holly Black and I really liked this. This was actually really good. I didn't think that it would be bad. I assumed that it had this kind of hype for a reason, but I thought for me it would be more like a three star kind of read, but like it wasn't. I gave it four stars. I loved this. It was fantastic. I really like Jude as a character because she is so unlikable and just kind of an asshole and I love that because she's different than like your average character especially in YA like there's always so much just like goody two shoes which is fun I like that as well but sometimes it gets a little boring and Jude really shook things up a little bit so that was nice to see and like the plot was a bit predictable a little bit the plot wasn't predictable per se but I wasn't like surprised by anything that happened really aside from the last plot twist at the very end I didn't actually see that coming until like the last second I do think that this could probably be a standalone and like I would honestly be fine with not reading the sequels and I would be satisfied by the ending of this one I still will read the sequels but like mainly because I want to see what happens with Jude and Carden I want to see some like really petty bullshit and like just enemies oh oh I love it I love like the like sinister anger of Cardin in the end like that was so good like the the epilogue was fantastic yeah I'm not gonna get too in depth with my thoughts here partly because like this is this is just a vlog but also because this book is on my I finally read that video series that I'm doing so I'll be posting like a full review video for this at some point who knows I have a bunch of videos planned that for the next few weeks so I'm not too sure when I'll put it out but at some point I will so but yeah solid read very glad that I read it and I definitely see the hype. I don't think I'm as in love with it as, as everybody else is, but I do definitely really enjoy it. So, good shit. Hey, what's up? It's Sunday, uh, May 31st, maybe? <laughs> I don't really know. I don't really have like a reading update right now. I'm just dropping in mid-vlog to say this week's vlog will be next week's vlog now because I have only read one book this week and I only have about four minutes of footage. So <laughs> uh, I'm just going to combine this week and next week into one vlog and have it be a longer vlog um, because there's no point in me uh, in me uploading a four minute video of me talking about one single book. So not happening right now. <laughs> so I just filmed my monthly wrap up, which I'll edit and post by the end of the night. That's really it. I'm in a huge reading slump right now. I have not wanted to read anything. I did start reading the new Murderbot book, but I was I was listening to the audiobook while I was lying in bed and I listened to for like probably an hour or so. And then at some point I fell asleep and I woke up and I was like more than halfway through the book. And I didn't retain a single thing that I read. So I just need to restart the book. And I was so mad at myself for doing that that I just returned the book to the library and said that I will just read it later. I don't feel like it. And so <laughs> I'm just kind of letting myself have a couple of days of not reading anything. Just kind of letting myself chill out and 
watch a lot of Netflix, a lot of YouTube. <laughs> um, I am, I'm going back to work on Tuesday, which is very exciting, uh, but also like I'm nervous about it. And so anxiety has just skyrocketed and I don't have the focus to read something right now. That being said, Panemathon does start tomorrow and I am very excited for that. I'm hoping that I'll be able to get my reading mojo back. It's usually like 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 the first two weeks of the month I, I read so much and then the last two weeks I kind of like fizzle out. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to read a whole lot and get as many of these prompts done as I can. But with me being back to work, I'll be working 40 hours a week. So <laughs> that's really gonna cut into reading time. So I don't really know how feasible my Panamathon TBR is right now. Who knows, I might get through a lot. My commute to work, if I take the bus, it's like 20 minutes, but I do, but I am planning on walking. So it's like 45 minutes walking. So I can get through a lot of audiobooks doing that. So maybe I'll get through more than I think I will. We'll see what happens, <laughs> but yeah, that's really all my updates for right now. I'll be starting a book tomorrow for Panemathon. I don't know which one yet, but something. And yeah, so that's it for right now. And I will see you in the next clip, whenever that is. Bye. Hey, I was just outside, so my hair is an absolute mess, but regardless, I have da 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 Indigo. I have a package from Indigo. I know exactly what this is, but I'm gonna open it up finally on camera. I'm so excited. Oh my god. Okay, I don't know which way this goes, but we're just gonna... This way? Is it... Nope. Ah! <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh my god. Finally. Ooh. 15% off at Indigo. Nice. Oh my god, I'm so excited. It's beautiful. I actually like the cover more in person than I did online. I didn't hate it when I saw it revealed, but like, I actually like it. I think it'll look nice next to the rest of them. I did see that there was a picture, that there was like some design on like the naked hardback. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's so nice. This is not the one that I thought it was. I saw some where people have them with a yellow and they have like a snake up here. I like that better, but this is still good. Still good. I think it matches the other covers. Hang on, I have, I have them next to me. Do these have that? They do, yeah, so it matches. So that's really good. Oh my God, I'm so excited. It's it's June 1st, by the way, so it's day one of Panamathon. So I might, <laughs> I might start this right now um because i can't control myself i'm so excited and i also have the audiobook out from from my library you know panemathon we're reading this together so i think that starts today actually so maybe i'll get to read it today and i'll start it right now ah so happy <laughs> and then this morning while, while i was lying in bed um i did start reading meet cute club by jack harbin and so far it's really good i've only read the first chapter i think or like like where they just met and I'm already in love. <laughs> oh my god, it's so cute. And it's really short too. I thought that it was longer. So I'll probably finish that one tomorrow, most likely. But this is really what I'm here for, is just screaming about this. So, ah, yay. Oh, and the video that I filmed yesterday uh, did not go out yesterday because I was having some, I was having some computer problems and I was not able to finish editing it. So I'm gonna do that right now and I might post it today. Basically, like my upload schedule might have to change now because I'm, I'm going back to work. So I'm thinking about dropping it from three videos a week down to two videos a week. That might be more manageable because again, I'm gonna be working 40 hours a week. So I don't know if I'll have time to film three videos a week. Two is definitely manageable. Like like if, if, if one of them is a vlog and then I have one regular video, then I could definitely do that. And then I might, I might do like a, like two for sure and then sometimes three we'll see what happens it really depends on like how much content i want to put out and like stuff like that but i do have a whole bunch of videos that i want to film and that like i want to put out like right now like, i have a video where i want to talk about some of the queer releases that have come out this year that you can read for pride month um so i, I want to post that like ideally this week because you know it's the first it's the first week of pride happy pride by the way it's june 1st so <laughs> Yay! Uh, yeah, so I want to have that one out and then I have to do my, my review video for The Cruel Prince for my I Finally Read That series. So I have to do that video soon and I also wanted to do a review video for Undercover Bromance which like I have written out what I want to say 
but I just haven't filmed it yet. So who knows when that's happening, but I have too many videos that I want to put out and not enough time, <laughs> especially now that I'm going back to work. So we'll see what happens. But anyways, I'm gonna, I'm just babbling right now. I have some very like chaotic energy at the moment, if you cannot tell. I am like all over the place, but I'm gonna stop babbling, so catch you soon. <laughs> have just received a book depository package. I'm so excited. So here's what's going on with book depository. I'm currently waiting on nine packages from them. Now eight because I have the one. The first one that that shipped out, shipped out on April 23rd is June 4th. This is the first package that I've received since I started placing a whole bunch of orders recently. This is the first one that I've gotten. And the book that shipped out on the on April 23rd was Nevernight. This like this is definitely not Nevernight. I have no idea what this is because it's too small. So it's not the first book that I ordered. I'm like, what? I So I have no idea what this is. It could be literally any of the ones that I've ordered. No clue. Um, I'm confused as to why I'm not getting the first book that I've ordered first, considering the second book that I ordered shipped out on like, on like April 27th. So it's like a pretty big gap. I'm like, where's the rest of them? But I'm gonna open it and figure it out. I really have no idea. I have no idea which direction this is gonna come out in. It's a paperback. Let's see. The... Oh! It's Royal Assassin by Robin Hobb. This one I ordered. I think this is like the third book that I ordered from them. Where are the first two? This is a lot smaller than I thought it was actually. Why is this only 300? And... Is this only 380 pages? I thought it was like a 600 page book. <laughs> Why is this so small? Huh small font I guess anyways this, this has finally arrived sweet not what I thought it was gonna be I had no clue what this was gonna be not what I thought but there it is hello same day it's like it's it's been like 30 minutes I went through my uh, my book depository open orders and this is actually the fifth the fifth book that shipped out so like this one shipped out on April 30th and there are four books that shipped out before this one did so I'm wondering what happened to the other four. No idea, but whatever, they will get here eventually. Um, I'm just very happy to finally have at least one of them. So yay. This one, I'm not sure when I'll read it. I did start it, I think in March. And then I had to put it down because the owls were starting and I didn't have time to finish this one. But, and now for this month, I'm doing only queer books. So maybe next month, we'll see. I also just finished reading Meet Cute Club by Jack Harbin and it was it was pretty solid. It was, it was really cute. I gave it a tentative four stars. It's more like a 3.75, I guess, or like just just shy of four stars, but I'm running it up to four stars on Goodreads. All of the issues that I have center around the fact that it just wasn't long enough. I think that if, if it was a full length novel, it would have really benefited from that because I feel like the romance was rushed, the, the, the conflict was rushed, the resolution was rushed, like, like literally everything just felt like it happened way too quickly. And like, I didn't have time to sit with anything and like think about it and like, you know enjoy it before it was over so that's my only problem with it is that it was just too short but otherwise the writing was fantastic i thought the characters were really interesting again like character development would have been good to see more of but that's again just a, a length issue the resolution was a bit odd like th like that's where it lost points because i use i use cop pile and in the like in the in the logic portion that's where it lost some points because that ending really didn't make sense to me. The like grand apology thing did not make sense to me. It, again, if it was longer, if that was like over the course of a couple of weeks, would have made more sense. But I, but like from what I gathered, I think it was like a, like a single day. And I'm like, that does not make sense. I don't think that's how this works. If you read it, you, you know what I'm talking about with like, with, with, with the author. 
uh, it just didn't make much sense and it kind of like took me out of the story because I was like does that work like would that would that work I'm not sure like could that happen that that quickly I don't think so so that kind of like maybe pause and go wait <laughs> so it definitely lost some points for that but otherwise really really good and that's my first read for June which is not great <laughs> it's uh it's already June 4th this is the first book that I finished since The Quill Prince and that was a while ago that was over a week ago I think maybe I can't remember now but I'm also back to work now so that's fun I went back on Tuesday I worked Tuesday and Wednesday and then I have today off and so far so good I am exhausted which is why I haven't been reading so much because I am so freaking tired from the last couple days and I also have like no motivation to film I think my new schedule is going to be Wednesdays for a normal video and then Sundays for my vlogs so I was going to upload one yesterday that didn't happen so I, I should do one today but I really don't want to I'm so tired so I might just do I might pre-film like two or three videos on Sunday when I have the day off again and then I have like a couple of weeks where all I have to do is vlog which is pretty easy anyways so but for right now I still have a few weeks ago I made a, a, a cross stitch bookmark and I filmed that as a time lapse and I, I, I was like saving it for when I really didn't feel like filming but I think I'll just post it today and then do my vlog on Sunday and then starting next week do Wednesday and Sunday so anyways you guys don't care about this but, um, but yeah catch you later happy Sunday it's June 7th and I'm just here to wrap up this vlog I'm uh, just about to do some filming I don't actually know what I'm filming yet but I'll do something I was going to do a video where I talk about queer releases for this year so to like that you can read during pride but right now considering everything that's going on it doesn't really feel appropriate to be like putting out this really happy video and like celebrating pride and everything i obviously do still want to want to celebrate pride but it also feels so trivial compared to what's happening right now like i know that pride is a protest historically it always has been and it always will be but the way that it's celebrated now is that it's just is that it's really fun and a really good time and it just doesn't feel right to be doing that right now. I would like to do a recommendations video for books by and about black history but I haven't read very many which I am I am planning on reading more but like as of right now I've only read a couple and so I don't feel and like I don't feel right recommending books about this topic that I personally haven't read so I'm not too sure if I should do that. I don't know. I might. I don't know. I'll film something. At the very least, I'll film my review for The Cruel Prince and get that up at some point, but I don't know. We'll see what happens for today. Maybe I'll do both. Maybe I'll spend like an hour researching and I'll do a video of black queer books. I could do that maybe. Um, that way it's that way I'm still doing something for pride, but it feels a bit more relevant to what's happening right now and everything. I do want to help. Like, this is something that you know, I, I've been telling myself for years that like I'm an advocate and everything, but the reality is, is that I don't actually do anything. I retweet some things, I'll talk about it with my friends who I know share my same opinions, and that's about it. And that's not right. Like that's something that like I know is, is an issue with a lot of people, especially white people, where we talk and talk and talk, but we don't actually contribute in any way and so I want to try and contribute so maybe I'll, I'll I'll look for some queer books centering on black voices and do that video instead we'll see so anyways to wrap up this vlog this has been another week where I've only read one book but you know what that's okay that is okay I don't have to be reading constantly all the time reading is fun it's a hobby and if I have a couple days or weeks where I don't feel like reading very much that's fine not a big deal Anyways, I will leave it here and I guess you guys will see what I ended up filming on Wednesday when I post my video. So, but for now, thanks for watching and I'll catch you soon. Bye.